Arsenal 4, Leeds United 1, and we beat Leeds' second team today. And it was a great performance. This first half, 9 out of 10, almost a 10 out of 10 performance. Completely bossed it, completely controlled it. I think Tommy Yasu played really well. He was very convincing, even when he was getting forward. He wasn't getting bullied off the ball. Dallas had moments where he tried to bully Tommy Yasu. He wasn't having it. And uh, there was even a, a chance where he played the ball round him and um, he outblitzed him. And who would have thought? Because, I mean, Tommy Yasu's not the fastest, but he's someone that's very solid in defence. And that's something that we've really been lacking uh, in the last couple of years, always trusting in Bellerin, somebody that excelled first in going forward and defensively was very shocking. Um, but we seem to have solved that with uh, Tommy Yasu. Also, Tierney. You know, Tierney was that battle with him against Rafinha. He was 10-10. He wasn't getting bossed. There was a chance where Rafinha, uh, they were counter-attacking. And Rafinha tried to out-blitz him. But Tierney just kept, he just set pace on him. Do you know what I mean? And he wasn't having it. And it's so refreshing to have fullbacks that can help the attack, but can also do their job, which is defend. Because I know nowadays players love, you know, uh, fans love players that can do multiple jobs. But I feel like if you're a defender, your main job is to defend. Do your job properly before you do anything else, before you excel and everything else, you know. And um, I can't fool the fullbacks. I think um, Gabriel was excellent as well, commanding, you know. He never got spun, you know. And he he's always leading by example in that defence. Excellent. Martinelli, somebody that's it's taken this manager a year to figure out that we have another star boy. We don't just have Saka, we have Martinelli. You know what I mean? Four goals in three games. Why is this guy on the bench? Why was he on the bench so much? We, we were crying out, the fans have been crying out for this for how long? And finally, we get to see the value of this kid. He's a baller and he's always been a baller. And luckily now he's getting the minutes and, um, you know... He can't, he's undroppable at the moment. He's undroppable, you know. Emil Smith-Rowe coming off the bench once again to score. Do you know what I mean? This guy's just got it all, man. You know, and this this season he's adding assists and goals to his game. And that's all he needed. The, the work rate is there. The defending, everything is there. You know, Odegaard didn't have a bad game. He had a good game. I didn't think he had a great game, you know. Um, he was good to assist the goal. And... Um, Martinelli was just on fire from from minute from minute one. He was just pressing his runs, his intensity. Like the guy, just you can tell why he's a, he's a Brazilian player. Like the hunger, the skills, the way he chipped their goalkeeper was disgusting. Ten out of ten performance for me from Martinelli. Absolutely incredible. Like he's undroppable. Saka as well today, another great performance. You know, but um. I think my focus is more on Martinelli because he's somebody that didn't get his just dues. And I think now he's getting his just dues and he's getting all the merit and all the praise that he deserves to get. Where Saka receives the praise. Emil Smith-Rowe receives the praise. You know, so for me, the way that they were bossing it, Lacazette once again. I mean, the way he brings in the, the, our wingers, the way he his one-two play. You know, he's really playing out of his skin. I don't know if it's for the new contract. I don't know if he is waiting for somebody um, to snap him up. I don't know what it is, but he's playing with a purpose and an intensity that I like to see. You know what I mean? And I think he just suits, you know, I said it from from the last game's review. I said, I think he just suits this, this style of play that we're playing. And um, I have to give props to Mikel Arteta. I'm somebody that criticizes him a lot, but I have to praise him where praise is due, I feel like he's made the the performances match the results. Earlier on in the season, we're beating teams like Burnley, 1-0s and things like that. But we're getting the results, but the performances were dreadful. You know, we're getting a goal and sitting back. Whereas now we're going for the second, the third, the fourth. That's what I want to see. You know, kill these teams off. Kill them. You know what I mean? Take the wind out of their sails. And make sure that, you know, we went into that we went into the second half comfortable. And even when they got a goal back, which I feel Ben White was really silly in taking the player out. I've always said I want my defenders in the box when attackers are coming in. Stay on your feet. Stay on your feet. It's too tricky to do a slide tackle or things like that. You know what I mean? And it, it's something that I was disappointed within Ben White's game. But hopefully he, he, he learns. I think today is a positive result and 
all in all, I feel happy with the result and happy with the performance. It's been a long time where I can say I'm happy with the performance and happy with the result. Most time I'm happy with the result, like our one nils, but I'm not happy with the performances. You know what I mean? And today I just felt like the energy was there throughout 90 minutes. When's the last time we've seen Arsenal perform for 90 minutes? Not many times this season. And that's what's going to get us further up, up the league. And I'm, I'm, I'm happy, but at the end of the day, I'm going to be cautious because the, pl- the teams around us have a game in hand. Tottenham have games in hand. Man United have games in hand. And West Ham have a game in hand. So it's all great us being fourth. Once these teams play their games, where do we lie? You know what I mean? Where are we going to sit? We've also seen Man United falling off. They, they haven't done what everybody expected them to do this season. And we also haven't seen uh, Leicester hit the heights that we expect of them. And Tottenham, you know, under Nuno, you know, they fell fell off a cliff. So there's a lot of teams in and around us that last season finished above us that are now trying to pick up form and still have matches in hand, you know, to play, you know. But at the end of the day, all we can do is our job. And, you know, this is three three, three games and three wins. But at the end of the day, I'm not for all of this. Let's start singing a different tune now. Because a couple of matches ago against Everton, people were telling me that it was not, it's not good enough and we need this manager gone and this, this and that. You know, don't flip-flop. For me, he's still not good enough. I've seen these fake storms. We went 20... You know, I think we went something like over 10 games unbeaten. And where did we finish last season? Like... At the end of the day, we're doing well. It's very early, you know. This season, the season is a marathon. And at the end of the day, a lot of teams around us are now trying to start picking up form. And it's too early to say that we're in the top four race. I need to see more evidence from this manager, from this team. And I need us to start picking points up against the big teams. We've never had an issue picking up points against, you know, no offence to Leeds. Teams like Leeds. What about bigger teams? What about bigger squads? Because... As it stands right now, out of the big six, we've taken zero points from them. We've walked away with zero points. Zero points against Chelsea. Zero points against uh, Man United. Zero points against Liverpool. It's not good enough. You know what I mean? But right now, I'm seeing great performances. Let's see it against the big teams. But I'm not going to be on a negative. I'm, I'm, I'm really happy. I'm happy with the youngsters. I'm happy that Martinelli is showing this manager that he deserves to be in this team. I love his fight and desire. Smith Rose playing excellent. Odegaard, I think his performances are improving. You know, I still want to see a bit more from him. I still don't think he drives forward as much. I don't think he's as creative, but today he did well. You know, um, Saka is doing what Saka does. You know, and I think he's adding goals to his game, which is another thing that I like because before this season, his stats weren't, his goals weren't that great. You know, he's always got effort, he's always got fight. But we need to be doing this consistently. This is what Arsenal Football Club is. We're the third biggest club in this country. And I expect us to beat teams like this. But um, Mikel Arteta got it right. And even if he brings Abba for the next match, he must he has to start on the bench as an impact sub. Obviously, we didn't see any any of nothing of Pepe. Pepe didn't come on. I don't know what he's got to do to get a game. I don't know what's going on. I definitely think something's happened behind the scenes that we don't we're not aware of. But um, I'm happy. I'm happy. Uh, but we need to we need to put it into context. You know, Leeds were without Kelvin Phillips. They didn't have um, their striker. They didn't have their striker. You know, there's a couple of players that they didn't have, and um, we need to bear that in mind. This was, this was a weakened Leeds team, but at the end of the day, you can only beat what's in front of you. So I'm happy with the win, but I'm not going to get carried away. I'm not going to take back anything I've said. I want to see it through a consistent basis. Uh, once I see it through a consistent basis, we get into the top four and then we start pushing on. Because at the end of the day, it's not about getting top four. It's about winning the league and competing for the league. I will only ever believe in this system when I start seeing us actually be in a title run. When's the last time we've been in a title run? Yet we're the third biggest spenders in this league. We should be in a consistent title run. The same way Chelsea is. You know? Chelsea are in a title run. And a lot of people don't think their squad is as good as Liverpool or Man City. That's because the expectation is there. The expectation isn't, oh, get top four. And then after that, let's see how things go. No. 
This is about competing. And if you're not good enough, then we'll get somebody in that is good enough. You know, praise to Mikel Arteta. And, you know, for him changing things around at the moment, it looks like we're going to win games and to dominate games, not nick a goal and sit back as we was a couple of matches ago. But I don't forget Everton. I don't forget how we lost against um, Brentford. I don't forget how we got dominated against Liverpool. I don't forget that we let three goals go in when we played against Man United. I don't forget how we let Chelsea slap us up early in the season. I don't forget these results. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, take everything with a pinch of salt. But for me, listen, these next few matches, these are matches Arsenal should be winning. So we shouldn't be overly gassed. Yeah? At this stage in the season, we're roughly where we should be. And if other teams around us would have played their games, we'd probably be sitting 7th or 8th. And that's the truth. So, I think people, Arsenal fans should be happy. But keep your powder dry. And we move on to the next to the, to the next game. You know what I mean? I grew up seeing Arsenal beat teams like this comfortably. This is not, a bit, you know, this is not anything special. You know, under Arsene Wenger, these matches, last three matches that we won, we would have, we normally used to win with Arsene Wenger in charge. There ain't nothing different. But, you know, we need to, we, we need to set the standard at this club. And the standard is compete for the league or we get a manager that can compete for the league because we've been waiting 18 years now. And I think we've been patient enough. Props where props is due. Arteta got it right today. He got it right against Southampton. You know, and the match before that. But at the end of the day, can you beat the big teams? Because on the way for us to win a Premier League, that's who we need to we need to beat. You know, Lacazette, excellent today. Absolutely excellent performance. I think Xhaka, somebody I don't rate and I still don't want at the club. He played well as well. Uh, Partey, for me, he's too hot and cold. I don't think he's dominant enough. I don't think he commands his um, the midfield. You know, he didn't have a lot to do today. I think Rafinha got very straight. He got he was getting annoyed. You know, he was getting annoyed with Tierney. Tierney wasn't letting him cut in. Tierney wasn't letting him shoot. He had an early chance, uh, Rafinha, and it led to nothing. And um, Leeds were here for the taking, and we finished them off. And um, that's all I expected. And um, it was a comfortable victory. I'm I'm so happy for the youngsters. I'm so happy for these Arsenal youngsters. And now we just need to, you know, get some players that will complement them and get some players that will give them competition um, and attack uh, in January um, parts of this of this team that need work, you know. I still feel like we need a um, another CDM to create competition for party. We need another striker. Uh, and I'd like to see another number 10. Um, I'd like to see another t- another number 10. And um, maybe another cent- uh, another centre-back as well, maybe. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, we're happy. But let's not get two haps, yeah? Because we're a game or two through going back down to where we was a couple of games ago. And that's 7th, 8th, 9th, around that, around that. You know what I mean? We still have the teams around us that are also in the top four race, you know, looking to gain points and try to get up there with us. So let's not get too gassed. Let's not start, you know, oh, Arteta's turned it around and all of this. No, 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 no. Arteta is a Spanish Ole. And I truly believe that. I remember when Ole would have a couple of results and they shoot up and they got to third and they got to second. And then what happened this season? So... Let's just keep calm. Let's stay with with a calm head and take it game by game. Because come Tottenham playing their games and come United and come West Ham, we may be sliding down this table real quick. So, you know, great performance today. But for me, he's still not the manager. He's still not he's still not the manager to, to win the league, and that's what it's about ultimately. It's not about getting top four. Top four is not the standard. You don't get a trophy for top four. It's about have we got the right manager to make us win the league? You know? And on his journey there, you have to ask yourself, is he a better manager than Pep? Is he a better manager than Klopp? 
Because these are the two that are competing for the league. And if he's not, then he's not the right man. But listen, Arsenal 4, Leeds 1, you know. And um, I don't want to hear none of this chat that it's their second team. At the end of the day, it's not our fault that they've got injuries. But, um, you know, maybe Arteta's made, uh, made Bielsa get the sack. Who knows? Leave it in the comments. Please like, subscribe, all of that. Love for all the support on the last video with Tapping Tobes. And um, coming up next week, I've got a couple... Um, I've got one or two special guests coming on for a live as well. So stay tuned for that. Um, love and support for everything people. E familia, I'm out.